back, welcome back, welcome back. Shalom, YLM, and shalom, my fitness family. So I hope everybody's being blessed. As I tell you, every day's a blessing. Why? You see me, and I see you, and that is a blessing. That is a blessing on top of a blessing. Why? Because the Lord woke us up, gave us another day to work in that purpose and walk into our assignment. So take that, and as I always tell you, if you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what your assignment is, read. Pray, study, fast, get into your word. Pray and ask God to reveal the things that he needs to reveal to you. Because what he has for you is for you. So take it, use it, get into it. But I want to wanna thank my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. For my old ones, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And still thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. I love everybody. I send anointings. I send blessings. I send it to everybody. And I pray for every one of you. You know, God is doing a work with me and you. He is making you new. And we're going to step in that new. So this is my last one for this segment of... Are we living lukewarm? Are we straddling a fence? Are we saying we're for the most high, but in the own comfort of our home, home, we are doing ungodly things, things that are not of God. If God knew he, if God was right there with you, you would be convicted right then and there because you'd be like, Lord, I know I ain't been doing right. I ain't been living right. I speak the word, but I don't walk the walk. So we got to get one accord. We got to speak it and walk it and work it and serve it. Got to do it all together. So today I'm in Isaiah, and it's going to be Isaiah 29, 13, and it reads, <clears throat> excuse me. So the Lord says, these people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, and their worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by root. So I had to look the word up, the word root. And it means the use of memory, usually with little intelligence learned. So a routine repetition. So it's something that we just naturally do. Something that someone told us that, yeah, you know what? You should go to church every Sunday. You should go to church daily. Oh, yeah, I know the Lord loves me. It's just things that we know. And as I said, he said it right there. They honor me with their lips. So we say these things. We say we love them. We say we follow them. We say we do it. We say, say, say. But their hearts are far from me, but our hearts are far from him. And we worship him in a daily routine that is not even from the heart. That's not, it's just, you're just doing it. You're just doing a routine like you're on autopilot. And a lot, of, a lot of Christians, a lot of believers can get stuck in that routine of knowing like, you know, I just know I'm supposed to get up, go serve the Lord. I know I'm supposed to go pray and worship. But are you really praying to him? Are you really worshiping him in a way that you know it is giving your all? Only he knows your heart. Only he knows what you pray for. Only he knows what you're going through. But are you giving it all to him? So this right here, like I said, if it don't come together, shake it up, stir it, and give it away, I don't know what. But it touches my heart to know that I'm like, a lot of us are like this. We say it with our lips, but our heart is far from them. We do a wholly, a totally different, I told you we live a totally different lifestyle outside of what we say, what we preach, what we're giving. Our lifestyles are not showing. Our lifestyle is not showing it. Our faith is very, very little. Like we just read in Second Corinthians, like your test, God tests your faith. And if your faith is not right where it should be at. You fall short. You fall in the cracks. Yeah, um, as I've always heard this old saying is that the Christian is going to be sitting on those shoes and slide right down the hill because you're just doing the actions. You're just saying it by lips. You just your heart is not there anymore. You have to find ways. You have to stay. You have to stay diligent. You have to stay abide. You need to pray and then get into that word. And words, God, his words pop off. I've I've learned that. And I always felt like, like Lord, are you talking to me? I always hear people when you especially. YouTube is a big thing, so you gotta be you gotta be mindful. You gotta be cautious of these things. But people are like the Lord told me this, the Lord gave me this, the Lord gave me that, and I used to be like, I'm like, dang, am I not filled with the Holy Spirit? Am I not doing something right? Is the Lord forgetting about me? He not talking to me? Like I wanna I wanna hear that. I wanna know how they feel when they be like, the Lord showed me this, the Lord told me that. But what the Lord has for you is for you. And you have to tell him to talk to you in a way that you understand. And I've always I've always known and learned, but I just wasn't in the word like I should have been. And I'm like, I'll pray. 
every Wednesday I love to fast so my fast is coming up and um first when I got back onto my word I'm like Lord I need you to reveal to me how many days you need me to fast got to read and it just popped three okay like I don't know three is just spirit in my spirit I gotta fast for three days and then I'm like so I know I'm back like I get faithful I, I fit I fast every every Wednesday for the most part not even for the most part all the time I have no reason not to and I know that's my time with the Lord I get to praying I, I stay diligent in my word even though I'm a diligent in my word every day but I was just like feeling convicted like how do people keep saying like the Lord is giving me this the Lord is giving me that word for you and I'm like that ain't right because I'm like the Lord ain't gonna skip past me and tell you something that's not that that's not that's not how it works so I'm like you know what let me get in my word so I, I will pray and ask him to to speak to me, give me a word, give me something that I know that's gonna that's gonna set me on on track, that's gonna give me what I need, that's that substance, that milk and honey that I know I need it. And as I got done praying, I feel relief, I feel peace, I'm feeling like okay, Lord, you know I'm ready. I'm 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 in tune. My ears is open, my heart is open, my arms are open, my eyes are open for you, Lord. I open that book up. And that's all it literally is. I just open my Bible up. Just open it up. It's nothing like an old school Bible. <laughs> Get you one. An old school Bible. You open that Bible up. It's going to be something that's going to pop out you. It's going to jump at you. And I've gotten my last couple words that I know the Lord needed to, that I needed to hear from him and stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, dang, okay, Lord, that's how you speak to me. That's how the Lord speaks to you. You got to get in tune with you. Gotta, you got to get down to him, pray. Give him your all. Give him your heart. Tell him what is in your desires and stuff. And as soon as you open that book up and get to get to reading, he's, he's right there. Because it, it hit me. I'm just like, Lord, that is that exactly what I needed. He gave me exactly what I needed. He gave me exactly what I needed to hear. And I went to bed at peace, woke up the next day. My little, my little scripture that pops up on my phone. I'm looking like, ooh, like Lord just hit me again with something I needed. I needed that right there. You kept me in where you, you gave me more confirmation. So you gave me confirmation at night to go to bed at peace, and you turn around and gave me more confirmation in the morning to stay in that word, stay abide, abide in me, and that's where we have to learn how to stop listening to other people and go for seek God ourselves. Seek ye first for yourself. None of these YouTubers can tell you what the Lord needs to tell you. These people with their prophets, the prophecies and stuff, that is not for you. You have to pray and get into your word, study, fast, read, show yourself accounted for yourself. He will speak to you for yourself. So and I, I had to learn that because I'm like, I'm I love I love a couple of contenters that I on YouTube. I'm like, oh I love your word. But then I had to separate the ones that were the Lord is telling me this, the Lord is giving me this, the Lord is this and I'm looking like okay, I, I don't think all of that's for me. But I like the ones that be like, you know what? Scripture, Bible, you know, giving someone a it's a motivational uplift on getting into your word. So stuff like that, that's what we need. We don't need someone else someone else's prophecy or someone else like you know the lord gave me this and the lord is going to tell me this word is for you today and you're like i'm like uh i don't know i'm like yes but that's when you go and you pray to the lord you pray and ask him like was that word for me he's going to tell you yes or no it's going to be in your spirit it's going to, it's going to show you right in front of your face so you just got to be in tune you got to be in tune all the way around you know mind body soul spirit everything has to connect together so just wanted to give this to you you know just i tell you every time i give you this this is a blessing so i need you to read it for yourself get into the word for yourself study it for yourself you know read the the scripture above it and the scripture under it so you can get that middle but as i send you off with this i want you to use this apply this and i want you to be blessed I'm alone.